live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Oracle's modern marketing experience. Brought to you by Oracle. Now here's your host, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Oracle's modern marketing experience. This is SiliconANGLE's The Cube, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, I'm my co-host Peter Burris today. Our next guest is Simon Robinson, who's Senior Director of Customer Services Marketing at Oracle Marketing Cloud, but also, more importantly, he's the master of ceremonies on stage. He gets to rub elbows with all the big dogs, Mark Hurd, all the customers, all, everything happening on stage, all the big names. Some big names happening. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. It's so nice give us the here. highlights. You're on stage, a lot of excitement, adrenaline's pumping, um, crowds out there. Give, give us a highlight for the folks that are watching who, who may have seen some of the keynotes or might have missed it. It's on demand, we're certainly, we recorded it, it's on, on YouTube, on our mm -hmm. channels, but Oracle's going to do a replay. What's the highlights? I think my highlights for yesterday were as Kevin Aykroyd's presentation. So he gave the opening keynote presentation. Uh, I've seen Kevin present four or five times and, and, and this was by far his best presentation. Uh, really enjoyed that. And then today we had our product keynote presentation. So Steve Krauss, John Stetic were up on stage. Great to see the progress that we've made. If you think that the Oracle Marketing Cloud was born, if you like, two years ago this month, it's great to see the progress that we've made from a product acquisition perspective, which is wonderful, but also the, pro the, the, the developments that we've made from an integration perspective. And Steve and John spoke today specifically about our ability to integrate Responsys with Maximizer and BlueKai with Maximize. The BlueKai, was, that was an announcement today. So the speed with which we have both acquired best of breed technologies and then integrated those best of breed technologies, even as someone who's been a part of this for some time, I found was incredibly impressive. So, what, and Mark Hurd also talked. Give yes. us the highlight on Mark Hurd. Uh, I think the highlight, first of all, the audience size was, it was a huge audience. Partly because, um, partly because it was a combination of four conferences, so obviously modern marketing experience, but also sales, commerce, and service. So we had a large audience in an arena, so that was quite an impressive venue too. And also I think it was the way that he connected with the audience. He did a great job this morning connecting with the audience, particularly because it was an early presentation. We're in Vegas, people typically go out, they perhaps stay out late but we had a huge audience and he really connected with them. Came down onto the floor, presented you know, flawlessly. And so his theme's cloud, obviously he stays on message, he's the CEO, yes. uh, one of the CEOs, but the cloud is the marketing cloud here. Integration is a top topic. Give us the highlight on some of the product integrations because that seems to be the hallway conversations here at yes. the show. The portfolio looks good on paper, it's great messaging, everything looks like it's connecting the dots, but you know, they've been acquired components here and there, but yeah. you guys have been working hard at Oracle to integrate it all. Yes, correct. So share those highlights and customer uh, proof points. So two key highlights, I think. The first is the, if you think about it purely from an Oracle Marketing Cloud perspective, is the integration that's take place, taken place Sorry, post acquisition. So typically when Oracle acquires a company into the Marketing Cloud, the, the acquisition takes place in the first six months. Uh, and we've seen some, some, some integrations already announced from a responses and a maximizer perspective. Steve Krauss talked about that today. And also from a, a responses and a blue card perspective. And that was brand new news for today. So that was the first piece from an integration perspective. And then John Stetic, who was also up on stage, talked about some of the broader integrations that have taken place between the Oracle Marketing Cloud, but also outside of the cloud into perhaps commerce. So we, he talked about some broader integrations, which is really where the, some of the strength of the Oracle Marketing Cloud comes from is all of this supporting Oracle technology that wraps around us as an organization. So the audience comes from a lot of different uh, walks of marketing life, so to speak. Yes. Um, and technology has, in the last five or six years, fostered an increasing separation of marketing professionals. As you do this integration, are you naturally seeing people pick up additional modules associated with your marketing cloud, and are you starting to see your customers recast and come back together so that marketing becomes more of an organic whole that's focused on serving the customer and the brand's needs as opposed to ser serving certain tasks that are associated with marketing? So yes, so one of the themes of Kevin's presentation yesterday was all about integration, but also about having cross-channel. So rather than perhaps just talking about email or mobile or social or web, it's much more about the integration of those technologies. This is my fourth modern marketing experience. You can tell I'm from the UK, so I've done- <laughs> Oh, I, I had noticed. Really? <laughs> so I, 
That's why they master of ceremonies. Everyone loves the accent. Come on, that's... Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I enjoy it. This is my <laughs> second US one and also my second, um, uh, my second European one. And uh, so four, four in all over the last so two years. So you've seen some changes. I have seen some big changes. So initially, when I became a part of the Oracle Marketing Cloud through the responses acquisition, um, it was very much about um, marketing automation from an Eloqua perspective, cross-channel orchestration from a responses perspective, and that breadth of portfolio has incre increased considerably. So mobile engagement, for example, is now a huge topic. It was beginning perhaps two years ago. Uh, uh, personalization and optimization, again, a huge topic that, that was really in its infancy three, four years ago. So I've seen the breadth of our offerings increase, but also the people in the audience, the breadth of their responsibilities increase too. So they don't necessarily become more senior, but they just have more to do because customers are expecting to be communicated to in a consistent fashion across multiple channels. And if those organizations op operate in specific silos, it's very difficult for that to happen. And therefore our customers need to have a broader and broader remit. What, what was the response from the audience? Can you get a vibe and share? And we have one minute left here, but I want to get your thoughts on just the overall vibe on the overall presentation. Obviously, Herd's the big name, uh, but you have a lot of point solutions out there, relevant stuff around marketing cloud. What did people resonate to? What was the big applause for? What was the trending uh, okay. context out this morning? So and I think today so, and yesterday. So today and yesterday, I think the, the trending context were very much around the integration piece when you listen to the product teams. That was really very well presented and very comprehensive. And also the fact that all of the elements that were presented today, that John and Steve presented, it wasn't slideware, it wasn't futures, it was real. And that if people want to go to see this, then they can visit here, come to the product pods, and they can see everything in action and go into much, much more depth than perhaps they could normally. So they can, they can go into much more depth all of the technology is real, it's not slideware. So I think that's the first piece. Keeping it real. Keeping it real and making it applicable for today. It's not futures, this is something that they can do today. That would be the first piece I would say. And then the second piece I would say is just purely around the breadth of offerings and the integration that we have. The integration of those various elements so that our customers and our customers' customers receive a consistent experience in a personalized manner at large scale across multiple channels. Simon Robinson, thanks so much for spending the time coming on. The MC of the Oracle Marketing Cloud, Modern Experience, Sales Experience, all the customer experience events happening here in Las Vegas. It's